I'm Chloe and today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional dish. Now we're Mexican-American but you know tacos are pretty, we've seen them, we've had them and I wanted to try something a little bit different and authentic courtesy of my husband's Friday's recipe. So today we're gonna make some Venezuelan arepas but first I am not wearing the right clothes almost ready, but I want something to cover my authentic Venezuelan shirt so it doesn't get dirty. Alright, we're ready to go! because the consistency is key. It can't be too dry, it can't be too watery, it has to be consistent. And you can start with a little bit less water and keep adding on if, if you're finding you're not getting the right consistency. Um, that is probably the best way to go. All right, let's do this. A little pinch of salt in here. So now we mix up our hands until we get the desired consistency. Before I did this, I turned on the stove to heat, so it's, it'll be heating for a couple of minutes before I actually put the arepa on, and that means the arepa will start cooking immediately. Let's go into as much of a ball shape as possible. And then you're gonna put a little bit of force between the two palms and flatten it out. So you'll be able to tell if you have any creases within here, that means that the your arepas are too dry. So if it stays in one piece, and it doesn't stick to your hands or come apart, that means it's the right consistency. So now we're ready to put our arepa on the stove. So we'll pl gently place it down on the stove and you're gonna flip it over every eight to 10 minutes. So a little bit of magic of time. Now, if you wanna check if it's done, you just Squish it a little bit on the sides and you can tell if it's a little bit firm, but it's ready to go. Try saying that three times fast. What I love about this dish is that it uses a lot of ingredients, common ingredients that we have, but it mixes them up in a new and interesting taste and texture. And I always find that I prefer the homemade arepas versus store or restaurant bought. Thank you for letting us into your home and hope you enjoy the arepas as much as I do. Thank you. Bye.